First thing I'd like to make sure I do is tell you what I told Brian uh, after the end of the game, that I really liked watching this team on tape, but I thought they were even better in person. I think they play the game the right way. They play hard. It's a new staff, and I think they're doing a great job. And we're very, we're very fortunate we could win the game with the first 32, 33 minutes maybe not being at our best. I thought Montana State had a lot to do with that, though. Uh, they're real gritty, uh, you know, real scrappy and real really hard playing team. Uh, you know, props to them. They came out and kind of smacked us in the mouth on the offensive boards, and uh, it was an adjustment we had to make. But uh, that first half, uh, they tore us up. Uh, we didn't really have a response for it. This is something we got to learn from moving forward, and we're lucky we learned from a win rather than a loss. We were a little bit lazy first half, a little bit unfocused, and uh, came back in the second half and really just focused in and realized that uh, you know, Coach always says three balls is a great equalizer. USC got beat last night by Army. They knocked in a bunch of three balls. So we decided, you know, tie ball game at half. If we're going to win this game, cut the threes down. They only made one basket, I think, the last six minutes. We made important free throws once again, which doesn't look like a macho thing, but it wins and loses games. And more important than anything, the three ball, which we paid attention to at halftime, this was a team that we were concerned about, and they made five for eight the first half, and we did make an adjustment or two, and I thought we did a good job. I thought the 10 that they took the second half were not nearly as open as the first eight. I think it's more so my teammates having the confidence in me to dump, dump it off. I know Josh does it all the time. He just kind of goes up, knows I'm gonna, where I'm going to be at. He just passes me the ball, so it's more so them having confidence in me and I just want to finish. Uh, in practice, like we worked on, work on just playing through contact. Uh, we we'll, we'll mess around with like guys pull down one arm, so you can try to like go up and make it on your um, offense sometimes. Because during the game, you never know what's going to happen, and the guys are physical, so they like take you out sometimes. Uh, they have those. They have those two little short, quick guards that just get in the lane and get by everybody, penetrate, and then just turn around and find whoever's man was. If you're helping, they've got four shooters on the court, so it's more than likely going to be a shooter, and so they just drive and kick, and they're excellent at that. We got to the. We did a good job of getting to the bonus early, shooting our one on ones. Shoot, actually shot a pretty good percentage today. At, what, seventy seven? Not bad. But uh, no, once we once we realized they're in foul trouble, coach just kept throwing it inside, making telling us to score or go get a foul, one of the two. And uh, luckily, these guards did a good job of getting us the ball. Well, I thought Montana State did a great job going at our guards, driving the ball hard, and then I thought we did a good job or, or as good a job as we could seeing if we could get the ball to the paint via the pass. Um, but I, like I said, I really enjoyed watching our guys the last seven, eight minutes. I thought they put a stop to them. You know, 24 points in the half is a pretty good half, but I really felt the energy flow those last eight minutes. I mean, it is definitely a mindset change. I mean, because... Friday, Saturday, shoot, even Thursday, I was study, 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 study. And then, uh, I mean, coaches did a good job preparing us. So we knew what we had to come in and do. The first half, we just slipped up a little bit. But uh, we knew what we had to do. And uh, now it's back to the books. But I said, you know what, 11 weeks from now, when we're in the Mountain West tournament, you're going to look backwards. And you're going to be doggone proud. You won this game by 10. So we'll take it. Uh, you know, we need we need a little energy boost. You know, one of those 2020s or whatever my kids take. But uh, we got two days uh, off. We have finals starting tomorrow, and we have heavy finals Monday and Tuesday. So it's a it's been a long time coming. Our guys need that. They need to study this evening. We have several of them with some mentors. They need to do a good job in the classroom, as do all the student athletes. And I think this break comes at a great time. We'll go back to work Wednesday afternoon. Get ready for Southern.